What is up guys, today we're going to be looking at the second in form Arnautovic, but instead of playing him at left wing or left mid, which is where his card is, I'm going to be trying to play him at striker, which makes him the Austrian Ebra. Now for this video, I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit instead of playing a few live games to show you guys how he is actually in game. I'm going to instead show you some highlights while giving you a pro and con list about the player. Before we get into it, I'm going to show you the team real quick. It is a pretty standard BPL team aside from the informed Shakiri on the right. The midfield was not very strong, I have to admit, but Shakiri was very good. Begovic was very good at the back, so it's, it was fairly affordable. I believe it was the first in form Shakiri who went for about 70k. So if you guys can afford these guys, then I would definitely go for it. And maybe strengthen the midfield a little bit. But besides that, it was a very good team. Without further ado, let's get into the highlights. So first, I'm going to tell you some of the cons about the player. And the first one that I noticed is that is very inconsistent in front of the goal. He tends to hit it straight at the keeper. I'm not sure what his curve is, but he does not really, he can't really curl it around. He is very inconsistent in front of the goal, which is fairly disappointing if you want to play him at striker. Another con I noticed was that his long shots are not good. He, I did not have a good long shot with him. I think I hit one where I hit the post. I'm pretty sure it's this one actually, yeah. I hit the post and that was like the only one that was relatively close at about 15 long shots that I tried. So he's not the best long shotter either. Now for the last con, he's also very consistent with headers and winning them. He's 6'4", so I would expect him to win some more headers. However, I noticed when I tried to get the ball to him on a goal kick, he would lose two headers from David Luiz, which shouldn't really be happening. But occasionally, he would be jumping over like 6'6 six, six players like Murtisacker. So sometimes he gets it, sometimes he doesn't, which can be very frustrating. Now onto the pros, and the, one of the best things I noticed about him was that his weak foot, his left foot, was extremely good. It felt like a five-star weak foot. I mean, it felt honestly better than his than his regular foot. It felt better than his right foot at, at, at times. In fact, when, uh, when I said that he was very inconsistent in front of goal, that's with his right foot. He would actually be putting them away with his left foot when he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, which was very interesting to me. Also, his volleys were extremely good. They were always extremely accurate, both left foot and right foot and they could always find at least one side of the net or they'd always be on target. Another great pro was his free kicks. You can see here, 40 yards out. I thought there was no way. And then he just puts it top corner. His free kicks are, I think, 80. 80 free kicks, shot power 86 as well. They are insane. They feel like, his free kick is like 85. It feels like his shot power seems like it's in the mid 90s. It's a very powerful shot. And his free kicks, I think I only shot three with them but I felt very confident going over them and I hit two of them, I believe. Another pro that I noticed was that his ball distribution skills were fairly good. They are fairly good. They are a little bit better than the average striker I noticed. He would be able to get it to the wingers or another midfielder making a run. He could hold up play fairly well. Another thing that I noticed was that even though for his height he was 6'4", he was actually able to move around defenders fairly well. He was fair, it seemed like he was fairly agile, even though his agility is in the 60s and his balance is in the 50s. So it was very good to notice that. Now, if he's one, if he's uh, just standing still, he can't really move that. He can't really move that well. But if he's actually moving forward or to a side, you know, he's actually going somewhere then for sure he will get passed around someone. Plus he also has four star skills, which makes it a little bit easier as well. The last thing that's very good about him is his price. It's only 48,000 coins and that's on PlayStation. I think it was about 40,000 last time I checked on Footbin for Xbox. And that's just two days after the Team of the Week was released. So in a few days, it's probably even gonna go down even more, probably up to around 30K or so I would imagine. So definitely go and buy him. So overall, I thought he was very good. I think around 10 games played, he got 18 goals, four assists. He probably should have had even more, but overall I was very happy with him. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to leave in the comments which type of player review video you want me to do, whether it's a player of highlights like this, where I also list the pros and cons, or if you want me to, to do the actual live games, playing like three, four, five games with the player we are reviewing. That's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace. Yeah,
Hope is you. Yeah. Yeah.